we're here at Dalton House, here at Jones Bay Wharf. It's a beautiful venue. And we're here for the Bledisloe Cup Festival, Women in Business and Sport Leaders Luncheon. So I think for me, it's rather than improving diversity, it's about understanding inclusion and why inclusion is so important. And whether that's in a work or a sporting environment, it's making sure that everybody's treated equally. Um, you know, you look at the women, I guess, uh, training at the moment for the Australian Sevens team, and uh, they're a prime example, I guess, uh, you know, the diversity in sport and how far it's come over the last few years. Our sport is one of the fastest growing women's sport in the world. Um, so with it included into the Olympics is uh, huge for us. I think everyone has a role to play, and of course diversity is not just about women either. Our community is very diverse, and we really want all of our decision-making bodies to start to reflect the communities that we live and work in, and I think that's really the key in corporate as well as in sport. For me, it starts with inclusion. When you create an inclusive workplace, that's when diversity flourishes. We've done a number of things at Microsoft to really drive diversity. The first is making sure we're constantly looking for great talent in all forms. Age, race, religion, gender, diversity of thought. Oh, I think there's been a huge improvement, um, especially with, you know, in, with the Indigenous um, aspect of diversity. There's been a lot more um, you know, increased participation, increased cultural awareness across sports um, all over Australia. We always thought we were a game for all shapes and sizes, but we were only diverse from that sense when we were very male dominated. So the game has dramatically changed in terms of being far more women playing the game. You know, we, we've gone from playing in a, pretty much in a backyard with only, only friends and family coming to watch us to being able to play on TV and, and, um, and the sport's just grown. I think, I think the best thing to do is talk about it. I think if you pretend like, you know, coloured people or gay people aren't around, it's, it doesn't help the situation. Having a conversation, especially with young people around homosexuality and, and um, trans people and people of colour, it's, it's only going to make things easier. And so we made a very deliberate decision that we were going to change the culture of our company starting at the top. Every time you're recruiting a new role from outside the company, there needs to be a diversity agenda around that. You can't just look for people who look and feel like you. You need to have women, uh, indigenous people, the whole diversity represented in your recruitment processes. So that's just one example of the many things that you can do.